you're looking for that great little weekend cruiser, maybe something to spend a couple nights on, go to Catalina, or just hang out here in Newport Bay on, then come with me for a quick walk around tour on One More Time. She's a 2004 280C Race Sundancer. She's very well powered with twin 4.3 Merc Cruiser EFI engines, so it's economical. She comes with a full camper canvas enclosure, windless, excellent electronics. She's had a lot of recent maintenance, so you don't have to. So come with me for a quick walk around tour on One Mold Time here at South Mountain Yachts. And for those of you that are really interested in pricing and availability, be sure to visit the website because prices change over time. Here we are starting off forward starboard section on this 280C ray. We see we've got a nice plow anchor, forward facing horn with stainless steel cover, windless with foot pedals right there. Coming down along the side, we see we've got a good stainless steel rail and what I call an LLI, ladies like it feature, have a pad made and you can lay out here. This four deck's easily accessible through that center line window. Coming down, we see we've got that Taylor curved windshield, which is a great feature. Keeps the boat sleek looking. Up above, we see we've got four and a half bimini and our garment radar dome right there coming down here we have our 280c ray badge and then we've got our water fill right there here at the transom we see we do have a nice extended swim platform and our four-step boarding ladder is off to port covered with a grab rail for easy access. Another notable feature here, we do have our hot and cold shower and trunk storage on this bed. Here we are standing aboard the extended swim platform on this vessel. We see we have some great features. First of all, we have trunk storage and a nice grab rail right there. And down below, we have a ski toe eye right there, and a spot, that hole is how we feed our power cord through and plug in the vessel. It's nice having that protected. We enter the vessel through this starboard door. We see immediately in front of us, we've got great cockpit carpet right here. Off to the side. We've got a transom bench seat. Now that actually folds up and can be used as a combing pad. And that'll give you more room here in the cockpit. We've got a removable table right there. Back to back chaise seating. Now that actually opens up and lays flat for a nice sun pad. As we move forward, this is what I call another LLI, ladies like it feature right there, a fore and aft facing chaise seat. Looking at the forward bulkhead, we see our door is multi-purpose. We've got steps in there. Access to the bow is nice and easy. Up the step, step through, through the windshield and out to that fore deck. Here at the helm, we see we have our classic leather and wood sea ray steering wheel dual binnacles wood grain paneling all of our gauges up above we have the four and one port and starboard gauges tack miles per hour tack four and one gauge up there we have a nice garmin gps radar unit which is locked away and a great compass. As we circle around, we see we've got a very well padded captain seat with the thigh rise bolster there. 
for a nice comfortable ride when you're out moving around. Coming back here, we have our wet bar, the sprayer, storage underneath, sink, ice bucket, bottle rack right there. We've got a four and a half bimini and a full enclosure for this vessel. Engine access is relatively easy. We have a hatch right there, just lift it up. You can leave the table and the seat down for a quick inspection. From here, let's go inside. For those that are interested on pricing and availability, be sure to visit the website. We enter the cabin on this 280C Ray Sundancer through this center line door and down a few steps. Once inside, immediately to port, we see we have entry to the mid cabin. This section here is raised, a nice little changing area. Our mid cabin there is full beam and double wide. Great place to take a nap. You can hear the water lapping against the hull. Lots of storage. Behind those mirrors right there, there's a cabinet for more bedding and personal belongings. As we come around, we see we have our power panel here. 120 volts on top, 12 volts below. We have our Clarion Stereo 6 stack CD changer and Sirius radio should you want to subscribe. Got a great privacy curtain here. And then as we circle around, we see we've got a nice little seating area right here, a booth style dinette. We've got storage below, nice Corian style countertop right there gunnel storage and cabinets above. We have a lot of port lights in this vessel to keep it nice and bright. This area can also be used as a sleeping area. Just, just drop the table, remove the seat backs for your filler cushion, and put your buddy right in there. Now as we circle forward, we've got a multi-use area right here. We currently have it set up with a table. You can spin that around so it's easy to seat four or five people there. Underneath is where all of our canvas is stored. As we move forward, we see we've got hanging lockers on both sides, gunnel storage, stereo speakers right there, a hatch with a screen and a shade on it. So if you're sleeping, you can keep it darker and cool in here. Now as we circle around, we see a second hanging locker right there. And then we have our little galley right here with Corian countertop formed in sink, which helps keep the vessel neat and clean the whole area. We have a single burner electric stove right there and then down below we've got our grab rail for safety cabinet and refrigerator right there in this area right here it's wide enough for two people to pass in comfort now as we move back we come to our facilities right here we've got a vacuum flush toilet which keeps the boat fresh and clean using fresh water. The whole unit is one piece fiberglass, so it's easy to care for and easy to clean. We have a pull out faucet, which hooks right up above for your shower and everything drains in the floor into the bilge. We've got a nice mirror here to, just so we could see just how good we look. On the stairs, we have a non-skid, and on the interior deck, 
we have carpet runners to help keep the boat neat and fresh. This boat is neat, clean, odor free, ready for the next owner. We've just had a lot of maintenance, so you don't have to. For those of you that are interested in pricing and availability, be sure to visit South Mountain Yachts. Click the dot up in the corner because prices and availability does change. Moe's boat is neat, clean, ready for the next owner. Viewer today, owner tomorrow at South Mountain Yachts.